You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Great show today about wisdom. And if you haven't already subscribed to our wonderful CNA TV, please hit the subscribe button down below. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. My opening thought, any faucet can turn the water on, but after a few years, only a good faucet will turn it off. The same thing applies to human tongues. Much wisdom can be crowded into but four words. In God we trust, this too shall pass. Live and let live, still waters run deep. Bad news travels fast. Love laughs at locksmiths. Nothing succeeds like success. Charity begins at home. Politics makes strange bedfellows. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Man proposes, God disposes. Let sleeping dogs lie. Three men set out on a journey. Each carried two sacks around his neck. One in front and one in back. Which of them finished first? The first man was asked what was in his sacks. In this one on my back, he said, I carry all kinds of the kind deeds of my friends. And that way they are out of sight and out of mind. And I don't have to do anything about them. They're soon forgotten. This sack in front carries all the unkind things people do to me. I pause in my journey every day and take these out to study. It slows me down, but nobody gets away with anything. The second man said he kept his own good deeds in his front sack. I constantly keep them before me, he said. It gives me pleasure to take them out and air them. The sack on your back seems heavy, someone remarked. What's in it? Merely my little mistakes, said the second man. I always keep them on my back. <laughs> the third man was asked what he kept in his sacks. I carry my friend's kind deeds in this front sack, he said. It looks full. It must be heavy, said an observer. No, said the third man. It is big, but it's not heavy. Far from being a burden. It is like the sails of a ship. It helps me move ahead. I noticed that the sack behind you has a hole in the bottom, said the observer. It seems empty and of very little use. That's where I put all the evil I hear from others, said the third man. It just falls out and is lost, so I have no weight to impede me. It is hard 
to forget, to apologize, to save money, to be unselfish, to avoid mistakes, to keep out of a rut, to begin all over again, to make the best of all things, to keep your temper at all times, to think first and act afterward, to maintain a high standard, to keep on keeping on, to shoulder the blame, to be charitable, to admit error, to take advice, and to forgive. But it pays. An old Chinese proverb said, In the midst of great joy, do not promise anyone anything. In the midst of great anger, do not answer anyone's letter. What you spent years building may be destroyed overnight, but build anyway. The good you do today may not be remembered tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness may make you vulnerable to attack. Be honest anyway. People who need help can be confused and distressed and they may attack you when you try to help. Help them anyway. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Try to love them anyway. If you are successful, you may win false friends and true enemies succeed anyway. Be wiser than other people if you can, but do not tell them. To look is one thing. To see what you look at is another. To understand what you see is a third. To learn from what you understand is still something else. But to act on what you learn is all that really matters. An executive woke up one day to discover that it was 15 degrees outside. Ooh, snowing and windy. Mm. She prayed for the strength to get up, get dressed, and jog 10 miles. Then she rolled over and went back to sleep. Instead of strength, she had received wisdom. <laughs> My closing thought if a thing goes without saying, then let it. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 It's feeding time for the pups, so I'll see you next week, friends. This is John Willard from the farm.